Okay, guys, listen, um, I promise you this is not going to take long. All right. I just want to address uh, the recent uh, video uh, that is currently trending on social media in regards to uh, maybe some false accusations. Okay, so let me just say this. Number one, I didn't say anything wrong. Number two, I didn't say anything that wasn't true. So we did an interview with Abednego and Abednego asked me, he said, why didn't you publicly come out and say something um, against uh, Prophet Lovi? And I said, I had no reason to because me and Prophet Lovi, we were cool. Now cool for New York means we talk. It doesn't mean that we're good friends. We just talk. And let me just be very honest with you. We did talk. As a matter of fact, I myself also have those receipts and the basis of many of those conversations were apostolic and prophetic stuff. So we would talk about angels. We would talk about, you know, the prophetic thing. And even when uh, Prophet Lovi went to Jamal Bryan's church, I gave him some commentary. I was like, man, they should shift the music like this. They should provide more of a prophetic atmosphere. Really great conversation. It wasn't until um, I began to have some minor reservations on some of the videos that he was releasing, which I have the receipts. Um, and I asked him privately, according to Matthew chapter 18, I said, hey, you know, what's going on with uh, these particular views, specifically one video where it said Jesus um, isn't the word. So I asked him, I said, hey, I thought me and you were friends enough in talking terms, not close friends, that I can ask you, uh, what do you mean by this? And he explained his view. And I, in response, told him, I said, listen, man, I said, um, I know what you mean, but they don't know what you mean. So I think you should do a clarification video, which he did on Instagram Live, November of 2022. Now, the reason why I know the dates is because I have the receipts. All right. And the reason why the video is not on social media is because in November of 2022, um, Instagram only allowed live videos for 24 hours on their timeline. And on the video, he said that an apostle uh, that I respect has told me uh, to uh, bring some clarification. And he did. Now, here's the thing. That was between me and him. Vlad hits me up because of a text that was sent to him by Lovi, um, feeling and not wanting to cause any uh, stir uh, within the group. Well, I hadn't told anybody from the group because that was between me and him because prior to that, when we did talk, um, we didn't talk all the time, but when we did talk, um, we would have apostolic and prophetic dialogue on the high ascension gift gifts conversations you know and when vlad approached me and said uh what's going on here i told him what i did and vlad said oh okay um and i actually have those receipts the only reason i'm not putting the receipts on social media is because vlad asked me not to um simply because this morning when i found out what Lovi said, I reached out to the guys and I said, hey man, do you remember this day? And they said, we do remember. And I said, well, here are the receipts because I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. So when Abednego asked why I didn't, I said the truth. I said, I didn't have to because other people were doing that. And second, but because me and him were cool, not as friends, close friends, but as colleagues in the kingdom in which we would speak sporadically and even send each other videos of deliverance. And he'd send me a prophetic video. And it was nothing more than a, 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 a colleague relationship. So that was my God, honest, truthful answer when I was asked. And I believe that I didn't do anything wrong. All right. So there was no false accusation. Uh, there was no... Um, a stretching what really happened um that's exactly the truth all right um and also um i never um and i don't feel the need to say lovi's false in any of all of this i never have all right um i just don't operate like that I, you know i had a private conversation between me and him that conversation got translated over uh to vlad because he assumed vlad knew um i have the receipts um, 
And he said, I don't want to cause any problem. Vlad hits me up and says, what's going on? And I go, well, how do you know that? Because that was between me and him. And then I explained it to him and I said, I just needed some clarification for one of his videos. And that was it. The timestamps say November of 2022. So that's it, guys. All right. So there's no false accusation. I believe I was modest in my answer when I was asked uh, the question uh, in the interview. And that's about it. So I love you guys. Uh, there's nothing there. I think it's probably just a humongous misunderstanding. I really wish that I could show you the receipts, uh, but I can't because I've been asked not to. Um, and I don't think it needs to get to that point. All right. So um, that's the truth, guys. So I love you. The Lord's favor, grace and blessing be upon all of you in Jesus mighty name. Now, Prophet Lovi, um, I'll delete this video if you delete your video. And let's just leave it at that. I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Um, that's actually what really happened between our dialogue. All right. So maybe there was a misunderstanding on the word cool. Cool for the New Yorker means we talk. It doesn't mean we're close friends. All right. Oh, and another thing, that conversation was never done through phone. For those of you that are watching, it was done through Instagram voice note messenger. That was it. All right. But um, I do have the receipts, just like he has the receipts. Nobody's hiding anything. All right. Nobody's hiding anything. That's it. So I love you. God's favor, grace and blessing be upon all of you. Man, I tried to make this really short, but we're on seven minutes. 